Hello! Here we are today in San Venanzo, a very nice rustic area between uh, the center of Umbria and the west of Umbria, so between Todi and Orvieto more or less, um, in the very quiet area of Pornello, which is uh, a lovely uh, uncontaminated area, as you can see in the, the woods and the hills and we're showing you today a very nice property in uh, a small um, complex. Uh, it's um, owned by four different owners and they all share, they all have their own apartment in the big farmhouse and they share all the land around it and many facilities that I will show you. So first we are walking on the cypress lined lane, the drive to the property. And here I'll first show you well, the gorgeous views of course. Here is a tennis court which you can it has been completely renewed recently so it's uh, ready to play on and the hill over there it, after the fence of the tennis it goes on onto the hill and even lower down there are 300 olive trees belonging to this same property there is a botche field a jeu de boule field down there and so this property is actually sitting on the top of uh, a, a hill as you can see there is one beautiful view to the west, towards um, Pornello, I mean towards uh, Parrano and Fabri, which is uh, close to the A1 highway, and to the east, which is uh, towards Perugia and Assisi. Okay, now we enter the garden here. As you can see, this is the building, the main building. It's been divided into one apartment on the first floor, another one on the first floor, and two apartments on the ground floor. And we are going to see the first floor apartment here. That is for sale. First, we see a lovely terrace here, with great views. Below the terrace, there is a huge water tank for all the water that is being accumulated. Um, it comes from the well. They have a very deep well of 120 meters deep. Okay, so this is the view. You can see the fence over here. The property is completely fenced. It has fruit trees, fields. Of course, the fields are a bit dry now because of the hot summer. And, uh, but here you can see that grass around the property is irrigated so it's beautiful and green. Okay, this is the side of the property, the building. This is our, our building here, our apartment. Okay, we enter the central courtyard of the property. Um, here is uh, an area, a private area for sitting and al fresco dining. Great views, as you can see. Okay, so this is the front of the building. So, as you can see, um, there is uh, this part of the building is going. We're going to see it later on. Okay, then there is a common building here in the middle. This is this, the common part where the owners can sit outside, inside in summer in the shade and uh, have a drink together and a chat. They can play and uh, have, enjoy. Hot uh, 
summer evenings. Here is the pizza oven and the barbecue. It is being used uh, regularly by the owners. The other owners are from Rome and they come only in weekends and maybe in August. Here is another entrance to the property that is from the side, but nobody actually uses this. And there is a fence here. The property used to belong to an artist who left some signs here. Um, later on, I'll show you some of the artworks that he made and left uh, in the property in stone sculptures, etc. Okay, here for instance is uh, a well which is very nicely decorated. Okay. And this is the other side of the common building with the property itself behind it. And here is another common building which used to be stalls. And there is the pool. I'll show you that later. And we'll go inside the house at the end. So hang on. First I'll show you this common building. The, the pool room <laughs> for playing pool. And this used to be the workshop where the artist used to make his paintings and his works of art. And there is a small pond over there at the other side, which he also created. It's very nice here. Okay. So, the artist's workshop and a playroom, a pool room. Okay. Here is uh, another part of um, a workshop for technical works. Um, you can find all kinds of utensils there if you want to repair something. And this side, which used to be a pigsty, is now used as a storage for the swimming pool. So it's actually quite nice. The roof has been restored recently and here is the great swimming pool itself. Okay. As you can see, the views are gorgeous. It's very quiet and silent. And um, you can sit here all day. The, the air is fresh because you're on the top of a hill. I'll show you. There's a lovely terrace sun deck and people hardly are here all together They're, they sometimes they are here in a weekend but uh, you can come whenever you want of course here the owners created a small private golf course <laughs> of course there is no irrigation on that side and with hot summer it's a bit dry now but it's nice to uh, have fun and there is enough space for it okay so now from the pool we'll walk back to the main building artist's home or workshop. And uh, okay, here is um, part of the other side of the building. So here is the it's uh, the 
bread oven again and the common sitting area. So now we go into the house that we are going to show you. So this is the entrance downstairs. Now here is one of those sculptures that I was talking about. You can see he made signs like this everywhere. He left his uh, signs. <laughs> it's very nice. This art is very natural. Okay, we go up the stairs to the first floor and the stone steps and we enter the loggia. Very nice for sitting outside, reading and looking around at the gorgeous views. Okay. And here we enter the apartment. First of all, there is a large sitting room with beams, a huge fireplace, very comfortable area to sit and uh, sit by the fireplace, watch television, read books, whatever you want. And there are four bedrooms in this apartment. This is one of them. With This one has its own shower room. There's a shower behind it here. Yeah. Quite big. And the owner painted some nice paintings on top of, on the wall above the beds. Okay, here we enter the living room again. And, oh, what, I'll sh first show you. This is another bedroom, it's a small room, so it could be either used as a guest room or as a study. And before we enter the other two bedrooms, I'll show you the kitchen. It's a very nice, large kitchen. With a huge cap on top of the cooking area. Looks a bit like the old-fashioned uh, kitchens in, in the big... Uh, Palazzi houses. Very nice. The sink here and a beautiful table and uh, views outside. Okay. So again we go from the sitting room into the part where the last bedrooms are. So we have seen two already. This is number three, very nice, airy. All the bedrooms are very nice and airy, actually. Spacious and bright. Here is a large double bathroom with a bath and a toilet with a bidet. And this is one of the paintings of the artist that he left. Okay. Here is another bathroom, a shower room, small, okay, and this is the last bedroom, very nice, two beds, small niche, which is with uh, the little Saint San Francesco with the animals in it. So that's about it. All the how all, all the windows have uh, double glazing and uh, mosquito nets. The roof has been redone um, and insulated about ten years ago. And it's a very pleasant and uh, quiet place, but excellent for a. Uh, a large family or to stay with friends. The apartment is about 200 square meters large 
and it's great to be here and relax and enjoy the lovely views that Umbria can offer you. If you want to know what the price is, um, just look at our website. Okay, bye-bye.